A big health alert tonight about our kids and the growing appetite for energy drinks. In fact, those supercharged drinks are the fastest growing products on the beverage shelf, $9 billion a year. So what does that much caffeine do to human bodies, especially younger ones? Here's Sharon Alfonsi. With names like Full Throttle, Monster, and Rockstar, it's no wonder kids are drawn to energy drinks. Like, I have like seven pages of a paper or something like that. I'll drink that, I'll drink a five hour energy, and it'll get me through. But researchers say some energy drinks may be giving young users unsafe amounts of caffeine. Doctors say there were twice as many cases of caffeine toxicity, kids overdosing on caffeine, as there were adults. Some kids say they drink more than one energy drink a day, but doctors say just one can could have an effect. Sometimes you can actually see their heart beating quickly through their, um, through their clothes, and they feel very, very anxious you and upset. You can see their heart beating yes. through their clothes. Especially, yes. Doctors say typically anyone under 18 should have no more than 100 milligrams of caffeine a day. A Coke has about 35 milligrams, a cup of coffee, 100. Energy drink Monster has 160 milligrams, the same caffeine as four Cokes. Jolt, roughly the equivalent of drinking eight Cokes. Over the counter, nobody's regulating it, it's, and anybody can get it. The FDA does limit caffeine to 71 milligrams per 12 ounce of soda, but the study authors say energy drinks get around the rule by calling their product a supplement, not a soft drink. The American Beverage Association says they don't believe that many kids are drinking energy drinks. The caffeine is tested and energy drinks are safe. Do you think that would be safe for a 12 year old to drink a Jolt energy drink with 280 milligrams of caffeine? Yeah, I think, you know, again, it's up to the 12 year old to understand, you know, what their uh, tolerance levels are, what their uh, sensitivities are, if any. Fueling an already energetic debate. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.